Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about soon to be tropical storm Epsilon and then soon to be Hurricane Epsilon. The National Hurricane Center is forecasting this to become a hurricane and it will likely bring impacts to Bermuda and potentially some coastal US impacts in the form of rough seas and high tides. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center currently has Tropical Depression 27 as a 35 mile per hour tropical depression and is currently stationary and is forecasted to move very little between now and Tuesday morning, but it is forecast to become a tropical storm by Tuesday morning and then a hurricane by Thursday morning and Bermuda is in the cone of uncertainty there, so Bermuda will likely receive impacts. The system will not make landfall in the United States and will curve east away from the United States. These are tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. You see the orange there, the bright orange is 60 to 70 percent and the dark green is 5 to 10 percent chance to see tropical storm force winds. This is intensity guidance for soon to be Epsilon. All models have it becoming a tropical storm, it will be named, and most models have it going into hurricane status, which is what is currently forecasted, with a Category 2 hurricane not out of the question. And a general weakening trend is expected after hour 120. These are some of the potential paths this system could take. Each line is a different path, and you can see all of them have it curving east away from the United States and it could potentially impact portions of Canada when it gets, if it gets close enough. And impacts can be seen in the United States, particularly in coastal regions where you could see some gusty winds and high waves. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, and you can see around Bermuda where that system is. It has about 27 to 26 degrees Celsius waters to work with, and as it moves northeast, it will move into colder waters and we could start weakening more, especially once it gets to the 20 degree mark, 20 degrees Celsius mark in the north. Question of the day today for this video is what is your favorite food? Comment below your favorite food and I'll look them over. That's your trusted weather forecast for soon to be Hurricane Epsilon that will bring impacts to Bermuda and the coastal United States. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.